Hey guys, welcome back to The Basics. I hope you're all enjoying or have enjoyed your 4th uh, of July weekend. I'm here to do a long overdue review video of this 511 uh, sort of fanny pack, I guess we'll call it. It's uh, designed to carry a pistol, um, and it actually works in conjunction with the 511 sling pack. I've got a, uh, a moderate, I'd say, review on that pack in my National Bug Out or MBO video um, that I did a while back. Um, check that out and if you want more information just shoot me a line and I'll uh, I'll do a more in-depth video to help answer some of your questions about that pack but I want to focus today on this um, because this is my go-to method for like backpacking or outdoor sports uh, concealed carry when you don't or don't want to or can't carry your your standard concealed carry holster so with that, let's go ahead and get into it. I'll show you the bag and show you how it looks with some different pistols and then uh, show you kind of how I use it um, and show you some pictures and stuff like that. All right, guys, so here's what it looks like on. I either carry it here up on my chest uh, or down on the front or if I'm running or something or on my bike, it'll be in the back here. Um, and I'll go over the, the bag in a little bit more detail here in a second. But basically what this allows you to do if you're backpacking is it lets you get your weapon up off of your belt um, and it, it, it still keeps it where you can access it pretty quick you know I mean you're not gonna have a lightning fast draw like you might from your appendix carry holster but generally speaking in the wild uh, in the woods or something like that you know you're if somebody's walking up and getting real close to you that's gonna be kind of weird so you're gonna be able to see people from far off and you're gonna have a little bit more reaction time um, it's great because it's not big and bulky like like I would think a lot of fanny packs are. It's kind of sleek. It has kind of a cool messenger bag kind of a, a look to it. Um, I don't think it screams gun. Uh, in fact, I think unless you were in the gun community, you wouldn't even recognize what this is. But it allows you to carry your pistol. And you'll see here in a second, you know, some car keys, IDs, a few extra cash. And you'll see you actually can carry an extra magazine or two in here depending on what kind of gun you're running. Um... I, I modified it slightly and it's perfectly set up to accommodate this extra strap here which keeps it from moving around um, and then if you're carrying it on the waist just kind of stow it roll it up and secure it and it's no big deal uh, on the waist I'll show you here I'll, I will wear it on the waist if I'm backpacking um, especially if it's a longer uh, pack and I don't want to have extra weight up on my shoulders um, it just kind of gets in the way of your waist straps so I don't, I don't like it as much there if you're taking your pack on and off. I'm not going to adjust it, but usually it kind of sits about right there. Um, and you can still get, you know, a pretty good draw. Even one-handed, I can come out and access it pretty quick. Um, and if it's, if it's not on the front, it'll be sitting right back here. So I'll, I'll, oftentimes if I'm going on a quick run or something, uh, you know, maybe through the city and, you know, I'm just wearing some gym shorts and a t-shirt, I'll just kind of throw my t-shirt over it. And, you know, it's bulky. Uh, you're definitely not concealing that you have something, but, um, you know, pe you know, people see it, they're not going to say, oh, he's got a gun back there. They might think, oh, he's got a cell phone or some keys or whatever. So that's generally how I wear it. I'll, I'll throw up some more pictures and stuff. Um, but let's go ahead and, and look at the bag in a little bit more detail, and I'll show you how it fits with the different kinds of guns and stuff like that. All right, so if we look at the bag itself, it's really well made. I don't know the exact materials, but... I've had this for at least four years, I think, and I uh, have used it on quite a few trips, and there's really, there's no noticeable wear and tear. Um, it is a little shiny on the front, as you can see, so if you're trying to be, you know, super low profile and like almost camouflage, it might not be good for that, but I'd say for its intended use, it's great. Um, I got the black one. If you go on their, their uh, website now, they, they make these in all different kinds of colors, which some of them are even less... Uh, tactical with, with some of their colors um, it's uh it's just about a foot long maybe a little bit extra from top to bottom I think it's six and a half inches tall and the thickness is only about an inch so pretty sleek it's got these padded portions on the inside which are nice um, it's got two zippers which have little uh, easy to grab knobs on there also the zippers have both have that little circle on there, so you can put them together and throw a little lock through there, which is nice. Um, and of course, with this system, they've got the pull tab, so you can grab uh, this strap and just yank it open, and the zipper will unlock. 
and it's got one for each side. So if you're left or right handed, it doesn't matter. You can orient the bag however you want and draw it, no problem. They've got two elastic loops that'll secure the strap that you're not using. It will also double as a magazine sort of retainer. I have never used it in this capacity, but just a minute ago I tried it out and you know, like with this MMP shield, you can see there's there's no problem fitting it in there. Um, we'll give it a try real quick with the full size. See what that magazine will do. I imagine this will be almost too bulky to use. We'll just pop the flashlight off to make it easier. Um, and actually, that's that's not an issue either. You know, definitely a little bit more bulky. Um, I've never trained with it like this. I've never done any uh, any shooting with it like that. I, I don't know. You know, it might it'll, it'll come out pretty easily, of course. But if your main concern is just having an extra mag and you don't want to have it, you know, in your pocket, that will work. Um, and really, the, the cool thing about this bag, like I said, it carries a pistol. It carries your ID, your can still carry permit, some cash, and your car keys, which I think it's perfect for. You can see this full-size MP9 which is my main carry gun when I'm out in the woods. One, because I don't have to carry extra magazines uh, because I have a, a, a pretty decent sized magazine. Sometimes I still will, but you know, if I'm backpacking and I don't want to bring uh, a bunch of extra stuff, I feel comfortable with, with one extra mag. I can also have a light on there, so if I just want to run my headlamp, I still have a good tactical weapon light uh, that I can run with one hand. And you'll see, you, you saw me draw it just a minute ago. Um, I have zero issues carrying a full-size pistol in this all day long. Um, you saw me put the shield in there just a minute ago. You know, that's pretty snug in there, but you saw how I, you know, pulled the tab down. I can still access this gun pretty quick. Revolver, great. If I'm just going on like a small run, um, you know, I might be heading it up into town. I, I want to have something on me. Throw that in there, no problem. And then, of course, the shield will fit, no problem. You can just kind of see how that fits in there. Um, on the inside, it has uh, actually four more elastic loops. This one's three inches, and there's another smaller one. Um, see if you can see it up in there. You can kind of see it. And I guess that's made so you can sort of stick the barrel of your weapon in there. I've never used it. Um, I don't think it works that well. And for the times I have shoved the pistol in there, uh, and I've tried to draw it fast. It kind of keeps the pistol too uh, tucked in to where if you have If you have it unsecured and you pull this open it kind of encourages the pistol to stick out a little bit So it's just easier to grab um, So I don't really mess with the elastic, but you've got those two on either side. So like I said, it's completely ambidextrous right or left-handed um, I've had no issues with like, you know the zippers um, opening up as I'm running for sure not when I'm backpacking actually I think I carried like the shield one time when I was running and the zipper came down a little bit um, so that might be an issue you could probably mitigate that uh, if you did want to carry something a little heavier than a revolver you could probably mitigate that with like a small rubber band that would still easily break once you did that you have velcro on each of this, the pulleys so that's not going to come unloose um, I've never had an issue backpacking with the zippers coming undone. I've never had to, you know, rip the pouch open and had a gun just fly out. It's it's pretty secure in there, so no concerns there. These side pouches, really, they're. I've tried to put a couple extra magazines in there. This will not fit. Um, maybe like a smaller magazine would. Maybe like a Glock 43 mag might fit. Um, but for me, it's perfect for, to carry a car key. You know, I've got my house key on there and then my gun safe key for my car. You know, maybe like your backpacking permit. Um, and then you can carry, you know, your ID cards. You got your cash and like your concealed carry uh, stuff. So that fits in there really well, I think. Um, pretty easy to, to access. And, you know, like I said, if someone sees this bag, they're not. it's not going to scream gun. It's going to say maybe I've got my phone in there. Maybe I've got some keys or, or a snack or something like that. No problem. Um, it does have this these two loops right here. Um, I don't know if they just forgot to include it on there when I bought the system originally, but it's supposed to have this clip. It looks kind of janky because it didn't come with it. I just got this clip and some extra webbing. 
This is made so that way when it's on the 511 sling pack, the extra uh, strap on the pack will come and secure here. So that way it doesn't move around a lot. I've done that same thing essentially. I just stitched some nylon webbing. So that way when I'm wearing it, um, this will clip in and it doesn't move around a lot. The only other modification I've made is I have secured the bag itself to the nylon on both ends with just some zip ties. And uh, what that does is it keeps the bag from like bunching up if you're carrying it on your waist. Um, and then if you're carrying it on your chest, it won't like slide down. So this keeps it nice and tight and you can actually kind of control the bag with the strap itself. Um, so pretty awesome bag. I guess I'll throw it on again and show you guys what a few draws look like. And um, I'll, I'll, I think I have some video up I'll, I'll put on here so you can actually see me shoot with it. But no issues drawing with one hand. Um, no issues putting the gun back with two hands. I haven't tried that much with one hand, but uh, I'll show you a couple video, a uh, few clips here of me just drawing it um, as I'm just talking through some other things, and we'll go from there. But like I said, really great for a backpacking uh, pouch for your gun. Um, you know, like I said, on the chest, from the waist, no issues. It, it rides in place. It carries the gun really close to your body. Um, you know, and for a fanny pack, like you'll, you'll see here in a second, very fast draw. Um, you know, like I said, it's not going to be as lightning fast as like your concealed carry holster might be, like an appendix rig or something. But considering that if you're mountain biking and you, you know, just want to have something on you and you know, you get jumped by a wild puma or, you know, a, a band of, of uh, mountain people with banjos. It's going to be fast enough to where you can grab your gun and go at it. So definitely worth it, guys, if you're not sure how you want to carry um, backpacking or in the outdoors, you know, mountain biking, uh, rock climbing. I don't know if you'd want to carry when you're actually rock climbing, but day hiking, anything like that where you're just wearing outdoorsy clothes, you don't want to carry a full holster or you can't. This is an excellent option. Um, and uh, I'm trying to think of what else there is to say about it. Very simple, very effective, um, not very expensive. You can see on their website. Um, really a great option. Been meaning to do this review for a while because um, I use it all the time, and I'm I'm, I'm really impressed with this product. Uh, and I finally had the time to put it out. So let me know if you guys have any other questions, or again, if you want to see another video on the pack, the 511 Sling Pack that you can get with this. Um, but until next time, guys, enjoy.